this, no, this man's don't try to conflate right an off air conversation man, that has nothing to do with the, the point. Place. You got straw mans right now. I said that you cannot sit up here and tell me that Shakira, a global icon who just doesn't get American press anymore like that, is smaller. Yeah, like J Lo is a hotter name. She, but outside bro. of the fact that they they force fed. They force fed J-Lo down black people's throats with that Motown performance, which was trash, because um, she has no Motown history, can't actually sing any of those Motown songs, and was only around black people long enough to where she could go to the next lick, and then she ended up with oh, fucking Brad Pitt doing Geely. But everyone wants to forget that. That wasn't even Brad Pitt, bro. That's Whatever what his saying. name was, Ben Affleck. Bro, you I don't give a shit. Bro, They're the all white thing, dudes. The only thing, white dudes. Oh, the only thing worse than your your basketball takes is your celebrity takes. Is knowing how to tell white dudes apart. Okay, that's cool. Anyway, bottom line is I'm not saying J Lo is, is terrible, you, but I'm saying she is an industry plant. Bottom line is, can and you, people were probably how about were, this? We're pissed at how her about this? being a Puerto Rican playing a Mexican anyway. But you gonna act like that? How about this? Don't exist? How about this? How no. about this? She's can the you tell me when the last time Shakira even dropped an album? Period, bro. I don't know, but the fact okay. that I know enough about Shakira okay. and her star power should tell you that a actual Shakira fan could be like, "Nah, you got Shakira fucked up." Globally, she's the shit. I'm pretty sure Shakira might have more fans. You're Puerto pretty Rico sure, but J-Lo you don't does. even know when her last album was, bro. Don't need to. Don't need to. When was her last tour? Don't need to know. All I know is she tours overseas and like bro, has a whole setup over there. Okay, how about this? Like she's how a global, she's a global. Can you act. tell me how many albums she's dropped in the last decade? Come on, you probably a- two. Honestly, I think she might have snuck in one. I'm gonna And you're probably looking at Wikipedia So what's your final answer? I'm gonna say two Probably one in like an EP The answer is four Well, well, there you go She did one in 2009 Which was an English album Oh shit That is ten years Damn, I'm old 2010 2014 Another English album And 2017 Her last tour was in 2018 Before oh. she got in trouble Oh geez, last year Before yeah, she got in trouble Yeah, but she had the, uh, the forum and everybody was there. Yeah, she was. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay then, like, bro. Like you want to talk about? Oh, if you take boy. out J Lo hosting, or like being at the Oscars and doing the BET thing, give me a movie. No one give was me, talking give about me a movie. Secure. I'm not comparing acting chops. He said nobody's talking about J Lo and just name five incidents. No, besides outside this, of those besides incidents, that, besides bro, this, you can't tell me J Lo's like, Motown. Look me in my face and tell me J Lo's Motown. What does Motown Lying have to face. do with anything? But, that's that's a, what but, a culture vulture would say. She has no fucking connection is, or impact to Motown, other than she might have listened to it as a kid. The, but she, had, she didn't grow up anywhere J-Lo near is that not culture. A strong singer, she's one hell of a performer. That's my point. I saw a lot of I don't know. I don't know. She has a better point. talent than her, and arguably she might outshine her but at the, the Super Bowl halftime show. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, okay let me give you another know. question. You're talking about J Lo's movie career. You're all doing this off Wikipedia, and we all know it. That's fine. It doesn't matter. And well, I'm not does Wikipedia compl- have to do with I've never anything. seen Shakira acting shit, so I'm exactly. not Exactly. Like, exactly, bro. You're just you're just being difficult. I said she's a better musical talent. You're just she's difficult. a better talent overall. No, you didn't. You said she's a bigger superstar and she's Global a headline. icon. So stop changing your Global fucking icon. take. I'm not. I, I think both shit. women are beautiful it's and great entertainers. Shit, bro. I think J Lo is the stronger Shakira's, entertainer and Shakira's performer. Shakira's strongest movie, Zootopia. Isn't that a cartoon? <laughs> <laughs> that, that's your headliner oh movie. Zootopia was a pretty good movie. Why he you really hate? pulled up the Zootopia? I'm I'm done with this. Now movie. He really went to IMDb. Zootopia is a good movie. Now he's I saw it. Was a decent Zootopia movie. It was a good movie. It is a good Fire. movie. You're not gonna sit up here and tell me. Oh my god! You're not gonna sit up here and tell me that J Lo is a better talent. Than Shakira in the world. If yes, you're talking about singing, you just saying just. I'm not talking specific. about acting. They don't do that. No, I'm talking about just perform. When I say performer, I'm talking yeah. about like her on stage. So I, I'm gonna say because J Lo is just more of a veteran, and I feel like just just more polished. She's just 
She's in Vegas, or she's been performing in Vegas for like ever. And Shakira just been doing nothing this whole time. I mean, I'm not knocking that. I'm not knocking that. Where did their career start? But for this start? event yeah. in the Shut Super Bowl, up, I'm looking at this from like, just the Super Bowl. Yeah, for the Super man. Bowl, this is. Uh, J Lo's definitely going to be the stronger entertainer. Well, this. she's a headliner. I'm not. I'm not displaying that at all. But it's like you have two people who say they're the best. At, they're one of the best in their fields. But who's better? It's like okay, look I, at the Clippers. This is the only time oh I ever bring up the Clippers. God. Kawhi or Paul George? Who's the better player? Oh my God. Kawhi. But Paul George ain't no slouch. I just think J Lo's the better performer. That's fine. But I'm not going to sit up here and say. Yeah, musically talented. No, because she started as a backup dancer and finessed her way into singing and was in at but that. But J-Lo got some hits, though. She got manufactured industry hits in America, which are hits. And how many hits R&B, R&B pop singers have that same thing? Oh, That's what all I just of said. Them. That's what I just said. Every R&B and pop singer has a cast of producers, a cast of songwriters, a cast of engineers, like every single song has I don't like think J-Lo could have just started credits. in Puerto Rico and then become a global icon the way Shakira did. Shakira started in Colombia, got big enough to where America had to not ignore her anymore, and then once they had the chance to ignore her, they did. But she didn't just go back to Honestly, Columbia and do bro, nothing. Honestly, bro, you're speaking on shit that you don't even really know about. I'm speaking on shit that I know to be true that you're no, not going to tell me somebody who's no, bigger. No, you're not because you're talking about... No, you're, you're talking about... Just because she's in America and no, she's been a star I'm not here saying and she's that. been everywhere. You said that I'm last week. I'm not saying that. You're, saying, you're lying. You're saying that because she's not from America, America just forgot about her. She stopped working. She started having a kid. She started raising her family. She That's not America. America forgot about her and threw her out. Okay, no, bro. Like, what the fuck? Okay, so, you're on j and working. Andrew Yang's payroll now that we understand. I that. honestly don't even give a fuck about this topic. You I've just, been trying to change the topic and talk oh. about football for literally 15 minutes. I really don't think you have because you talked about I literally week. have. You're the only one you, who wants to talk you about the IMDb You're the and one Wikipedia. who made the fucking I'm post today. Fucking around, this shit was dead for a week. We haven't even talked about for a week. We haven't talked about week. I no. Just, okay. We have the closer and closer we get to the Super Bowl, I keep that same energy. Keep that same energy. Because when the Super Bowl halftime show comes around, and people might, some people are like, you know what? I think Shakira did better, even though she wasn't the headliner. I'm going to just look at you like, okay. I don't know, bro. We asked that bartender who said J Lo was better. You asked one bartender. Would you ask the other four? No, you didn't. So shut your ass up. My girl said J Lo was better. And your girl also said that Shakira is undoubtedly the better talent. Yeah, but okay, still, Shut up. J-Lo is a bigger star. I never even here. Said, I never even said Shakira wasn't a better talent. I said J Lo is was a bigger star. Week, bro. You're the one who kept saying oh I know more Shakira's music than you. What are you talking about? I had her first C D. I had Shakira. Her a bum, though. You're like, oh my god, bro. You're, like, you're just J-Lo's speaking on better. shit you don't even know about. Holy shit, and I'm the culture vulture of the show. I'm not a culture vulture, what but I know fuck? not to shit on somebody from another country who does nobody, great music. Nobody is shitting, Just, nobody you is shitting on Shakira. Your yeah, whole like basis J-Lo's of the argument is... Thing, and I'm like, eh, your people whole have called basis, out J-Lo for a while. Though. Your whole basis it's of the not argument just me. is Shakira is from Colombia. <laughs> And so she has the backing of Latin America, which is bigger like than just Puerto Rico and United States. That's literally South what America. this guy got on here and talked like about. All of South He's America. Like, all of South America is so much bigger. Where did you hide Even though voice? like 30% of them don't have internet to stream stuff, but yeah, they're Where definitely bigger. Where did you get that fucking number from? Could they're you talk like this the rest bigger. of the show? Please talk they're like this the rest bigger. of the show. Like, shut the fuck up, bro. Like... So. I don't even know why you're arguing about this shit like you even fucking care. It's just, it's just my fucking opinion. annoying. You don't care. You don't know about it. And you're not budging. So why the fuck are we talking about this? Why are we using up our fucking precious airline for this bullshit ass Air that line? one, you're not going to budge on. Two, you don't know shit about. And three, you don't even really care about. Shit. You didn't even watch the Super Bowl halftime show last year. You're trash. probably not going to watch it this year. So why the fuck are we talking about this bum ass topic? Holy shit! This is funny. 
fuck. <laughs> this is how I feel when he brings up the Clippers and he says, I don't bring up the Clippers on this podcast. You bring them up. This nigga's really This is mad. a football podcast. Holy shit. He's brought up the Clippers before, but okay, I guess our archives. You. Are lying. All right, cool, man. So, Do how about think? the Bengals? Oh, my God. The Bungles? Yeah, <laughs> they're terrible. They are god awful. Like, I honestly think between the Raiders and the Bengals, if you had to, like, torture me with watching one, I might just gouge both my eyes out and just, like, pour bleach in my ears. Like, watching them play is like just watching someone, like, break a bone repeatedly. Who is the worst undefeated or unwinless team? The Raiders haven't won, but they're terrible. But I think it's, it's gotta be the Dolphins. Uh, I'm gonna say they're bad because we know they're bad. But the Bengals have no excuse to be this bad. Uh, they kind of do. They're going through transition. They're they still deep. have Andy Dalton, AJ Green's hurt. This one. Um, they still have O line and D line problems. Their secondary and linebackers are getting old. No, Jack Willie Jackson out of Houston has only been in the league like three years. They have young corners. Jesse Bates is a good player. He was only in the second year or third year. Yeah, that's true. Carl they, Lawson, Jordan they, Willis. That's true. That, Gina they, Lackin's like their oldest player, I think. They've been aging out those um their secondary players. Yeah, and their linebackers, but when it comes to the Bengals, like they have no excuse to be this bad. The Redskins. That's just incompetence on Gruden's part. Because I think if somebody else was coaching that team, I don't know. they might be undefeated. I don't know. If you throw in Haskett, like, if you look at how they've played, like, I I don't see them Bro, winning. Paul Richardson get, is their number one receiver. It was Terry McLaren, but he got hurt. He's a rookie. Her hip hurts growing, but, like, they have, like, the fact that he was Bush League and purposely didn't um, start – Adrian Peterson um, and let him be a healthy scratch that pissed off some of the veterans then you go and look at the fact that um, the whole situation with Trent Williams the fact that he's still not there yeah that's I think that's the big part and that's the medical like they're they're a failure as an organization so I think yeah they're bad and they kind of deserve it because how they run. But the Bengals have no excuse to beat this bag. Everybody was talking all this crap about Zach Taylor, and I'm like, bro, did you watch him play in college at Nebraska? Okay, y'all really think just because he was he was pushed and streamlined like a lot of these uh, shitty failed college quarterbacks, they just get streamlined into assistant positions and then become coordinators, and because they run like some type of a spread complex offense. And then you give them a head coaching job that they're just going to be right out of the gate. Great. It's like, no. That organization has problems too, but they have more talent than the Redskins and the Dolphins. If you look at what they have, Joe Mixon, Tyler Boyd's great. John Ross before he got hurt was doing good. Uh, The defense has some talent. They just can't get it together. So I would have to say the Dolphins, it's yeah, they're just bad because they have no talent. But if you look at the Bengals, they're bad, and they shouldn't be that bad. Yeah, I mean, I I somewhat agree with you, but I think it's hard when your team's kind of going through a transition. They, I think hopefully they can finally get a new quarterback in there and start the, the process. I think it's their old line. They I mean, I'll put it to you this turnover. way. I don't know if it's the QB, but it's definitely not not the QB. QB is uh, not yeah. winning them games. Yeah. Uh, uh, Derek Carr. Uh, uh. So but yeah, the Ra- the Raiders actually got the foot off their throat for once. Got a W. Beat the, the beat up the Colts. Technically, beat up Jacoby Percet. Technically, that play where Trevor Davis scored, he apparently like was offsides. He false started. Whatever, fuck it. But it doesn't count. <laughs> so they didn't call it. That so doesn't count. But and the Colts' top three players were injured. The Hooker matchup without. of this week for me, at least, is in London. Obviously, Khalil Mack versus everybody. Khalil Mack coming back versus his favorite team. Unfortunately, they didn't. For, or I should say, fortunately, they didn't put that game in Oakland because 
Well, that's a blood probably would have been a riot. That's a bloodbath. Every time Mac sacked Carr, which every pick, I fool. I fully expect Mac to like get one really good like clean sack on Carr just for you know five years and not being able to do it, and then like some Michael Strahan. Bre-